like nine, 15 days post-op. And um, I guess I'll just start with something weird that I've found is that um, I'm getting these like weird cool sensations like all the way through my chest. It started happening when I was drinking cold liquids and it was just like all over my chest felt really cold, like inside. And then it started happening just randomly. So I'd like take a breath and I'd get this weird, cool sensation all through my chest. Um, I guess it's just because the nerves are all um, trying to fix themselves and everything is kind of new and, and whatever. So it's sensitive, but it was just something really weird. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you guys. So my nipples have looked really disgusting lately. They look a lot better today than they have looked the past few days. Um, they've been really pussy and gross. Um, they're pretty black in the middle of them and then really pink along the outsides. There's some like white on this one. I don't know. Um, this nipple is like sticking out more. I don't even know if you can see it that, but it does stick out more uh, than this one. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, the swelling has gone down completely on the sides there. Um, you can definitely see this uh, right there, this weird little pocket thing there, pouch of gross. I don't, I don't know if that's fluid or something. This line has been there since surgery and there was one on this side too and it's kind of still there. But then this like growth started happening about a week ago, maybe not a week ago, but I noticed it and it's pretty prominent because even when I have a shirt on, like you can see it sticking out under my shirt. Um, so I think it's just swelling and fluid buildup, but that's what was on this side here, the really intense bump that was there. And I just literally massaged it until it went away. So I've been massaging this, um, like, and hopefully that'll go away because it's kind of really been um, causing me some anxiety because I, uh, I can see it when I have a shirt on, like it's pretty prominent. Um, so I've been just massaging it and I'm hoping that it will go away um, if not, I'll have to talk to the surgeon about it when I see him on the 9th, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm still really happy with, you know, what it looks like. Now I have some muscle up here. At first I thought it was swelling, but it's definitely muscle because that was there pre-op, um, which makes my chest look a little strange because all the muscles up here and I don't really have any, um, anything down here. So it looks a bit strange how there's like bumps here, but then at everywhere else um, so that'll just I'll have to you know work some more muscle into that but um, other than this and the scary nipples um, everything else has been going fine uh, I don't have bio oil yet because I just haven't gotten it yet um, but once I do like I'm ready to start like massaging my scars and stuff like they don't hurt or anything and, um, but I just need to get the bio oil and yeah, I'm going to continue massaging this and hopefully it'll go away. Um, but otherwise I'm really happy. I'm still obviously putting the polysporin and the gauze on my nipples, you know, when I'm, uh, sleeping, when I go out on at home, um, I did, I gave them a break today because my nipples looked a lot better and it, um, didn't seem to want to have all the stuff on top of them. I felt like it, I just needed to breathe a bit. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick update about my chest. Um, if you have any questions then let me know. Um, thank you for watching. See ya.